Kind of a push through day for everybody. Been trying to see what you can do when the chips are down and tough. Was that? Was that oh, yeah, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Was today kind of like a push through day for you guys. It was a tough practice. It looked like. Yeah, I mean, definitely coming off an off day or uh, not a practice day. Uh, it's definitely you know one of those days you got to have a good mindset going into it. You know they throw some kinks in the you know practice schedule to you know kind of throw us for a curveball a little bit. It's kind of like I said, it's all about mindset and how you approach the day. How are you guys approaching it? You know, as the four returning offensive linemen, everybody knows it's going to be a strength of this team. I guess just what is the mindset of, as far as you guys leading the way? Yeah, I mean, like you said, we got to lead the way, so we got to come with it. You know, every day, you know, bring the energy, bring the juice. You know, set the tone from the first play of practice to the last. Just how we're going to do in the game, we're going to set the tone from the first play to the last play. So we can't, you know, you know, just expect to start that whenever we do it. You know, in Las Vegas, that starts now. You know, whenever we go out and approach practice, so that it's just, you know, muscle memory whenever we get to Vegas. With the changes to the offense, it looks like you guys are attacking more in the run game. As a as a guy on the end, what's it like to see these guards get out and, you know, move the way that they are with this new offense? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, like you said, it's a new offense. And, you know, we have a lot different players than we did last year, you know, but being able to, you know, be, be more diverse in the run game and showing different schemes, it's only going to help us. And we're going to be really good at all of them because, you know, we're going to spend a lot of time working on each and every one of them. So the biggest thing for us, you know, like I said, is just dominating up front and letting guys like Kyron, Chris, you know, Caleb, Josh, and the list goes on and on, just do what they do and that's make plays. You guys are a very veteran offensive line, obviously, and it might be some of you guys last year with the program. Some of the younger guys in the room that maybe won't get, won't get those first team reps this year, how have you seen them kind of grow? And are you, you guys as veterans kind of helping them out a little bit to kind of set them up for success in the coming years? Yeah, I mean, the talent's definitely there, and you know, they will get reps this year. They're going to play. A lot of them will. And, you know, like I said, with the talent being there, you know, they all come in. They want to be great. You know, they ask us a lot of questions, you know, just because, you know, we've been in the game. We know what to expect. We know what it takes to go out there and win at a high level in the SEC. So, you know, guys like Tyree Adams, Bo Bordelon, you know, all those guys, you know, they're going to play a big role in what we do this year, you know, and, you know, the future is very bright for them. What's it like kind of listening to Brad Davis break in some of these freshmen <laughs> on the field? Familiar. Uh, but, I mean, you know, the, just the intensity he brings, he, like he tells us every day, he's not going to change the standard for anybody. And, you know, it's not going to change. Nobody feels bad for you. So, you know, it's what's required to, you know, be a part of the O-line here at LSU is hard work. You know, obviously it's hot. You know, I mean, no, everybody can see that. But it's what you do whenever it's hot. Can you go out there and, you know, block that out and, you know, go out there and do your job when you're tired, when you're hot, you know, when your body doesn't feel, you know, the best. Can you go and get the job done? So you've got memories of, hey, back up five yards. We walked to the line <laughs> like, like he was doing that second team today a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, you look over and, you know, you see him doing that and you're like, uh, I, I mean, I've probably been a part of something like that at some point here. But, you know, it's part of, you know, you got to come in ready to go. So, you know, those guys, you know, there's a lot of good players in that group that y'all saw today doing that. And, you know, the future, like I said, is bright for all of them. How is DJ doing, uh, being the new kid in the, on the block, I guess? Uh, you know, DJ's great. You know, like I was saying earlier over there, the uh, – DJ, you know, had a hold of field with Charles Turner leaving, but Charles set such a good example of what it took to, you know, be a leader, you know, and a great communicator and a good player here in the SEC. So I think that DJ being able to, you know, see that, watch that, learn from him, ask questions from him on a day-to-day -day basis, put DJ so so far ahead because Charles was such a good communicator. And, you know, whenever you're out there in the SEC with 100,000 people in the stands, you know, communication is the biggest thing. Being able to get five guys on the same page working together. And I think that that's one of the things Charles did the best. And, you know, with DJ being able to watch that firsthandedly, and learn from him. I think that's put him so far ahead of the curve. And, you know, he's growing every day, obviously. You know, he doesn't have that many game reps, but, you know, that's going to come. But he's going against good guys at practice every day, so he'll be ready. Tell me about um, Nuss, I guess, and maybe just the change in demeanor now that he's, you know, the, the number one there. Does Do you see anything different in him, or is he approaching it a little different? You know, Nuss has, you know, definitely waited his turn. And, you know, I couldn't be more excited for him. He's going to go out there and, you know, light the SEC up. 
Uh, I mean, obviously the offense is different compared to last year. I mean, everyone here knows Nuss isn't going to, you know, bust down the sideline for 90, you know, every five plays, but he very well could. But that's just not, you know, the, like I said, the style's different. But, you know, it's going to be effective, and we're going to get the job done. We're going to score a lot of points. With the screens that you guys are running, do you feel like physicality is kind of at a premium now? Uh, physicality will always be a premium here. You know, Coach Sloan told us today we're going to go from inside out. So everything, like I said earlier, starts with us up front. We set the tone for the rest of this team and the offense, and we're going to get the you know guys going for sure. Defensive line is obviously a big question mark to a lot of people heading into the year, but it seems like they're all getting on the same page. Go and they were saying going up against you guys in the offensive line has kind of helped them. What have you seen from them of having them get better throughout camp so far? You know, the defensive line, the players are definitely there. I mean, I can go on and on about the guys that are there and, you know, what they're good at and all this. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, just their energy, you know. Their demeanor coming out to practice every day is just so much different from last year in a good way. You know, they come out juiced up, ready to fight, ready to go. And that's what we need. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a fight in the trenches. I mean, it is what it is. It's not always going to be pretty. You just got to be ready to go in there and get dirty. And that's what they've been doing. So I'm excited for them. We saw on day one, uh, BK call y'all guys up and he did it again today after some bad reps. I guess how much is it? Are you noticing him stressing the small details that make the big picture? Yeah, I mean, the details are everything. You know, he preaches that everything's on, you know, the walls in here. You know, the little things are what mo matters the most. It's what adds up at the end of the day to make the big things or the little things. So whenever you, you know, think something doesn't matter, that could be the difference between you losing a rep, especially, you know, with some of these positions. You know, for us, I mean, hand placement, you know, if you have your hand wide, it could be the difference in you giving up a sack or not. So whenever you're, you know, thinking that something doesn't matter, it's usually the things that will make or break the game for you. We haven't really talked about the tight ends at all. Just that room is filling out, right, and they've got guys that, can be a little bit more versatile than maybe in the past. Are you noticing their involvement more? Are you seeing, you know, obviously more double tight ends? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is probably the deepest tight end room LSU's probably had in a long time. You know, just from top to bottom. I mean, guys that can go out there and make the big catch, but they can also come down and help us, you know, block. And But like I'm saying, you know, there's so many, you know, different type of athletes in there. I mean, from Trey Dez to Mason to Max. Pimp. I mean, it's just, like I said earlier, it's one of the deepest tight end rooms I can remember seeing here since I've been a little kid watching. Everybody kind of knows the year that you're expected to have and the potential for your future. I guess, how did you approach this year going into it, knowing that, you know, it's going to be a big year for you? Yeah, I mean, I don't really pay attention to much of the outside noise. I mean, I'm worried about these guys in here because, you know, these are the guys who I do it with. And, you know, if we come in here, win a national championship, win a Joe Moore award, have the best offense in the SEC. The rest of the stuff will take care of itself. But my focus is to, you know, like I said, win a national championship here. Anybody else standing out that maybe we're not talking about? On offense or defense? Anywhere. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of young guys that, you know, will catch your eye. You know, Gabe Relaford, uh, you know, he's one of the hardest workers on this team. Uh, he comes in every day with it on his mind. He's ready to go. Uh, Caden Durham, I think, is going to be a big back for us this year. Uh, Deshaun Spears will be a really good player for us this year. I mean, there's there's a lot of guys I could go on and on about that, you know, but I think that, you know, it's just going, you'll have to see it for yourself from Vegas because, I mean, I couldn't really, you know, pinpoint, but I think there's a lot of guys that, you know, aren't being talked about that could have really big years for us. Well, what do you like about this team so far? The grit. Uh, I'd say that the grit and the toughness, you know, this off season, you know, we had probably one of our best off seasons we've had since I've been here just from a, you know, work standpoint, pushing ourselves, guys pushing each other, competing every day. And, you know, everybody here wants to win. I mean, it's, it's year three. It's time for us to do something instead of just winning 10 games. I mean, I'm 10 games is cool with other schools not here. They don't that get 10 games gets people fired. Uh, people replaced, so it's a uh, it's time for us to do something a little different, and you know, win a national championship. That's sound bite of the day, right there, <laughs> <laughs> from all four guys. Um, and, and just finally, um, you going into this year and so forth, this collection of guys. How, how special is this collection of guys up front that you're playing with? I mean, it's it's awesome. You know, like I I was saying earlier, you don't really find guys. 
you know, that have played three years next to the same person in the SEC. Usually somebody will end up leaving. So it's, re it's really a blessing for us, I think, as not just as for us as individuals, but this team, you know, being able to have those guys up front with me and, you know, Emery, Miles, Deli, and, you know, DJ's, I mean, I wouldn't consider him a, you know, new guy. I mean, he's been here, so he knows, you know, what all we do, what it takes and things like that. But it's a blessing because, you know, whenever you can, you know, take so many reps next to somebody, it's muscle memory now. So I think it's only going to help us. All right, last one. Yeah, just tell me about the run game. Um, just seeing John on day one, pretty explosive. Like we were kind of surprised at how quick he was. But having the backs that you do, and you, you mentioned Caden. I mean, but the three guys that we know about, like how, how much better are they this year and ready to roll? I mean, they all look great. They all had great all seasons. Josh, Caleb, John. I mean, John is. I mean, everybody knows about John. I'm excited for him. I, I feel like he's gonna have a good year this year. And just coming off last year with the injury and stuff, I I'm excited that you know he ended up staying with us and. I couldn't be more excited for him, but uh, yeah, the run game. I mean, like I said earlier, the uh, it's a lot more diverse, we're showing a lot more looks, a lot more different things. Just throw defense for more curveballs. I mean, last year we kind of you know line up. We're just better than you. It was what it was. You know, uh, you knew what was coming, but you still had to stop it. And quite frankly, nobody could. But you know, this year we're going to line up and we're going to make you stop us and they're going to make they're going to know we're coming right at them and it's going to be in different ways but they're going to know we're about to run the ball and we'll see if they can stop it